Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old Blues in which we're playing as the Heide Confederation not quite, but a fever dream. Lately, Alexander Vasilievich have been suffering from headaches. The Oblastniki demand more and more in the NRA stage another uh, T attack by exploding some railroad tracks. Kolchuk simply wanted a break from all that all this at his residence. But here came a sudden flash of pain in his head. Kolchuk cried out and then it disappeared. He opened his eyes, he had a strange sensation he could not describe going to the window. Kolchak did not see behind it the views of Vladivostok, but something new. Something unfamiliar. Where the heck am I? Oh no, change his focus tree to far west and transmit Republic Focus Tree. Hey! Uh, Admiral Dictator, we got horses. As uh, Admiral. But alone in the cold, sitting alone in an unfamiliar world, I said to record my observations about it in my journal, followed up with New World or Problems. Some things just never, ever seem to change. And uh, I in some time spent here, little is clear to me, but most importantly, I found out the place I am in is not 1936. But the distant future of 2275, not too bright, I'd like to point out, from the limited resources I had, we figured that we were in Can. The diary writing was interrupted by a headache similar to the one Kolchak had before arriving in this place. Alexander Vasilievich. Do not know what would happen now, but he felt that things are starting to look a lot better. Oh, look at that. We get the Siberian army. Oh, wow. Actually, it's nice. Simeonov is back, as well as Dithrix. Also, we didn't know this is, um, obviously Old World Blues, but Old World Blues uh, with Kaiser Redux April Fool's update, so I wanted to see what was this was like. Actually, what type of these divisions are these? 18 combat width. Interesting. It's been a while since I've actually played uh, Old World Blues, so. 15. 15 combat width. Really? You sure about that? 15? Okay. And then these amateurs are 18 combat width as well. Ah, with explosives. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Oh, so which means we've got these type of divisions. Riders. You know what? I might just use those riders. Oh, we can't use them. Oh, uh, oh those are considered special forces. Oh, that sucks. Waste some pacification if we can. Anything else here? Not really. Probably disable backstory decisions. Thank you very much, uh, guys. Fellow boat enthusiasts. Ooh. Required garrisons goes down. Statistic psychopath. Graven. Gra Raider resistance with Graven Raiders. Ooh. Survivalist Fighters. Ragnar. Resistance growth speed goes down, which I do like a lot. I need mean, even less. But, ooh. Less required garrisons, but less growth speed. You get more defense, lose stability. You get stability, you get... Wait. 5% more defense, you get 10% more stability. This guy's way better on attack, though. Um, defense is the same. And way less required garrisons, but I like less growth speed. Actually, that's minus 2%. That's minus 5%. Oh. A partnership of two. Of course, all states also scored by the Broken Coast. Huh. 25% more sports, nothing to laugh at. And then memories of the NRA. It's not bad. Appeasing the Scavengers. Compliance growth speed. The Mighty Old Pete. Ooh, that's not bad. Old Pete becomes, you know, a partnership of equals. By the Dredgers. Scavenger allies. You get way more compliance, which it sounds strong. Members of the NRA. I want like that one. Even though I do like fellow boat enthusiasts as well. <clears throat> the effectiveness and resilience of a tundra's people's militia is known to a cult jock more than anyone else. The only way to win a war of attrition is to never have to fight it to begin with. And of course, we are the supreme ruler. Or we will be. So, And I have the feeling these are not chord notes. Not de deja vu. Oh, crap. Successful merchants of the army as well as the prompt distribution over the terrain helped to capture a large number of territories. However, a lot of satisfaction remains from the dredgers and a large number of attacks from the raiders. I would, I would have to deal with this, preferably in the shortest amount of time. And I thought things were starting to get better. Holy bad words. Oh, that hurts us quite a bit. Compliance growth speed goes way down and we get resistance. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so bad. I don't even want to touch that. Mm -mm. Siberian army is nice, though, at the very least. Uh, we don't have enough infantry equipment for anything. Okay. Horses? Sure, why not? Um, oh god, it hurt us. Actually, how bad is this? Rate of resistance. Required garrisons goes way up. Oh. And strange immune destroy shady sands. I'm just gonna go back to bed. So I have played that before. Um, do we have... No, it's not Vilhelm. That's what I thought it would be here. Oh, wait. Oh, we have the Minutemen, too. Oh, also, they have one focus. Another something needs to help me get this. As a raiding quest making it repeatable, a random unknown state has become a core. So they start in Victor uh, New Victoria, but they just randomly got that. That is awkward as all heck. But, oh. A 
appeasing the scavengers. Oh, this one first. Sending some naval officers or officials upstream to help the locals secure the hard-to-reach salvage will surely increase their reputation in the region. Also, from what I hear, that's not balanced at all. And that's totally okay. Also, we have Turks. Grand Vizier Mustafa Kemal. Search for the great weapon. Um, we have aid from the port. Holy bad word, plus 50%. Political power, Jesus Christ. And then we have Republican struggle. We have trade expedition income. And then unassimilated refugees, so. Alms Law is very nice. Very, very good. Uh, we don't really care about that. Stonks, very nice. Bull, maybe bear. And then the mighty old Pete. That pillow, the Pete fellow is really a hoot. Only man to go out to out drink me. What a swell guy. Nice. Yeah, cl compliance, growth, speed. Oh, oh God, all that attrition. Um, you just throw it. That's fine. Oh, he's dead already. Whoa, that was really fast. Why did it happen so fast? And why are you so small now already? It's been so long since I played this. Partnership of equals. The judges have found a home in our heart and now. A home in my our country. Huh. Scavenger resistance. Of course, all states also court by the dredgers. Well, all right then. Dredgers. Oh, well, I guess they're gone already. No, that's broken coast. Dredgers would be up here. All right. So, what can we do about this? Military. Oh, we get more daily. Oh, have I actually played Old World Blues with? No step back actually installed or in here. Um, is there anything else here? That'd be really good to do right now. Uh, head physician. I want more wars of political power. If it lasts all campaign, I think that'd be worth it, but still. That's different. Toothless Newland. Agriculture research speed is different. Local sheriff. Bring your civilization, of course, like normal, Pathfinder, Bluebird. Oh, that's kind of different. That's definitely different than this. Yeah, I like this quite a bit. Uh, Legends of Old, that would be nice. Way of the land. Yeah, we're going to go with you. A much up slightly more of a stability and political power zone. So partnership of equals and the Supreme Ruler. This Grand Admiralty knows no bounds of his glory. Hail to the Chief. More political power, recovery rate, stability, war support. Uh, what's not to love? Yourself. That's what's not to love. Anyways, let's not talk about that. <clears throat> Alright, so do we have anyone here? No. Alright, so do we have anyone here? Joel Warren? Mighty old Pete. Well, Mikhail Dictorex. And of course, we said Simeonov is here as well, but we'll see. Um, Lan. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not sure which one to choose at this point. Minimum training level. Conventional warfare. Huh. I'll be honest, I don't remember what's really good right now. Terrain penalty reduction would be really nice fighting the north here. Even more entrenchment would be good. Even though we don't have a lot of manpower. Organization plus two. It's not much. Mechanized warfare principle. I always like that stuff. I'm not sure we can go heavy special forces, can we? Pirate Queen. Oh. Marriage proposal. No scum on my watch. Create an alliance of Cascadian nations. Ah. Oh, so we have to go down this way. Okay, so this one goes here, and this one goes here. Okay, that's interesting. I did not realize that. Find the psychopath. Old rule democracy. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, regardless, let's go ahead and get some of this research done. And... Uh, we'll go conventional, maybe. Asymmetric may might be better in some cases, but we'll go down for now. And then we'll choose Supreme Ruler. No scum on my watch. Maybe we'll do this campaign twice. This place may be a waste, but it's not an excuse for it to stay as such. Pretty much. Yeah, the duel song's really fun. Pass by the dredgers. Ah, oh, yeah. Clean coast. Ah, oh, that'll be good to do eventually. 
No scum on my watch. Find the psychopath. The sick dude needs to be cop and similarly executed. Pretty much. Or we'll do this one instead. This one looks probably better to do first. This Ragnar fella ain't half bad once you get to know him. A little sit down with me and old people help clear this whole rating. Pillaging, pilfering, and all around conniving for good. We lose consumer goods, but, you know, we get more stability. Way more division defense. Holy crap. Greater resistance. Yeah, that does suck. Where's compliance at? 27%? It's not bad. Actually, that's really good. That's actually very good. Oh, there go the Turks. Going to war again. But we got the cop cop here to give us nice and warm. Uh, I'll try to make the war band as well, but... We're kind of missing a lot of infantry equipment. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Smokes are holy. Um, conventional warfare. I mean, we're already doing it, so... Might as well. All right, find the psychopath and clean coast. Uh, the burning villages. <clears throat> have a put on people can return to fishing and rebuilding their new lives and under the protective eye of Admiral Kolchak. Also, I haven't shown you yet, but there's also another nation here. Well, Kostya doing really well. Oh, there's Kostya. We have uh, King Norton II. He's an absolutist this time. Hmm. You know, I'm just going to say, but if I were to play this campaign with the Kingdom of San Francisco, would you prefer absolutism? Or maybe would you prefer... Enlightened Protector. Eh, let me know in the comments below. What, what would you personally like to see? Militarization of servo certitude or uh, <laughs> rapid response royal guard? And there's always the knights in shining armor versus squash foolish fairy tales, of course. So there's always different options and such. Clean coast. Together to a bright future. There's no reason we can't simply talk with our neighbors to seek a brighter future. After all, it worked out with old Pete. New Victoria doesn't exist, but. Create an alliance of Cascading Nations. An alliance with the Minutemen sounds like fun. Or at least very useful to us. At the very least. I really need way less now, yeah. We still need some horses, though. Unassimilated refugees. Oh, big whoop. Let's go around Whistler. See what we can do. We already got Dynamite unlocked, which is nice. Maybe a glider or two. Not bad. Propaganda stuff. Drastic measures. No thank you. Together towards a broader, bigger, better future. Also, we're on a historical as well right now, but... Uh, what do we got here? More convoys? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Similar yet different. Oh. They need to be a member. I hope what's their deal with Camel, but everything comes with a price. Sounds like we could wait for that one. Similar yet different. Eh. As a member of Transcaucasia, the... Uh, Republic. New Siberian riflemen. The people of Whistler are strong and skilled, yet even they haven't managed to put an end to the Camel Raiders. Our help in the conflict will be monumental, and our price equally so. Absolutely. Ragnar is a good dude, huh? Ah, we're Lord of the Waste now. Infantry attack and defense. I'd like to get more attack. More attack. Um, and more. Basically more attack. Oh, we can do one too. Okay. A strong Victorian Navy is a strong Transamir, and a strong Transamir is a strong Trans Cascadia. Alright. Are we actually in an alliance? No, not with them. But it'll treat the, ga the game will treat it as if we are. Nice. Very cool. Oh, so we're already in Wasteland Economy. We need to get a... Probably go to war soon. We need more... Uh, the world tension's not bad. Production policies. Uh, let's come over here. Town Defender. Fairy Captain. Bluebird. Uh, let's go to the Turks once more. It's a lot of stability. Alrighty. Alright, and new by uh, new Siberian Rifleman. 
War game, naval warfare, sure, why not? Oh, this is different. Infantry perks? Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Doctrinal schools. That is very cool. I like that. Oh, hello. Are we, do we have anything here? Are you inspirational? Maybe. Ten percent is nothing to laugh at. Holy crap! Um, it's okay. More maximum trenchmen eventually too, if you can. Ah. Transcascadian Railway. Many desperate and disconnected communities dot Transcascadian, and if we can manage to fully unify them, we can sense a, still, sense a common Cascadian identity. Wow. Tw holy crap. Plus 25% division speed. Infrastructure construction speed plus 50%. The Great Railroad will be built through our and our allies' land. That's fine. Oh, there are a puppet? Oh, that's kind of nice. We're going to put them in the ahead. You can let them come in. Exploit Whisker. Alamo, huh? Y'all, it would be best if y'all just, like, encircle them. Don't be dumb. Ah. Well, we'll go there, then. See, there you go. That's all you really need to do. Same thing with these guys. It'll take a little while longer, but that's okay. Oh, they're not suffering for supply loss already. I'm no surprise. Also, I didn't even realize that they're... I forgot about the whole supply system, too. My bad. Nice. The shining example of waste and democracy. People feed are fed. Well informed, they're trying to protect their votes. Canada, we are the only true successors. Uh, experiment of democracy in a post-war world. Together with their allies, we unite under one banner proclaim the birth of Trans-Cascadia Republic. Way more population, just by work with time. Occupation appeal, more stability. trans Republic, that's actually really cool. Gliders, yeah. Very nice. Alright then. Interesting. Ah, oh, we have to deploy Haida Confederation still. Oh, hello, Minutemen. Thanks for taking over my territory, you ding dongs. Don't tell me we're actually losing here. Well, you need leader, the mighty old Pete. Keep going. You're doing great. Well, somewhat. Thank you. Death calls later team, nice. Well, actually, that's not very nice at all. more attacking defense. Travel huts. That's okay with us. <clears throat> we like the huts. Like job of the hut? Eh, not quite. Losses 25 versus 504. Really 500. That's pretty decent, I'd say. Well, if we're not doing it, folks, we get a lot more. Yep, we get a lot more political power. Which is nice. Very nice. I guess that's not enough. Not enough to capitulate them, huh? You take two capitals. You think it'd be enough, but I guess just not. All right. Anything else? An example. Uh, our nation builds usually a thankless one, but today is not that case. The people of Western Center are taking the role of subject wonderfully. Our officials are welcome, and our demands met. Hearts and minds are being one of our cause. It's wonderful to see eye to eye. Yeah, yeah, it's great to see eye to eye. Totally great. You know, I'm going to choose this one just because it's different. I don't think I've ever seen that one before, so. Trans Cascadia Republic would be very nice, too. 
That's a lot of attack and defense in core territory. What damage garrison should go down? It should go way down. Went toward carbon, huh? We need some anti tank as well. You know what? Research it faster. It's fine. Motorized flight? Why not? <clears throat> because we can. And we're now a shining example of Western democracy. And I think that's literally the entire focus tree. Thank you for your divisions, y'all. I don't want to deal with all this stuff, so we'll just become that. Good job, everybody. Goody goody. Be inspirational. Glory Falls. Train, 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 train. We're getting way more pieces of equipment now, though. But we have way more stuff to use, too. Which is actually pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Yeah, that's definitely flag. Can we at least take these guys out, maybe? I don't know. After there not being very much to do now, I love this. Trans Cascade Trans Cascadia Republic. Um, let's just take out the Brotherhood and then call it a campaign. Just because it's I don't know, there's really not much else. Of course, we do need that anti... Uh, Anti-armor. Anti-tank. So, yeah. Uh, how much longer do we have to wait? That's going to be quite a while. And here we are, at everybody, in which we are going to go to war with the good old... Uh, dudes. Yeah. The dudes here. Now, we go to war without enough... Uh, empty tank or demo equipment or motor motorized vehicles uh, or sport equipment, but whatever. Also, apparently in the update, uh, the whole thing here, there's a Russian BBQ Republic. So we got more to explore once this campaign's over. So I'm very interested in seeing what else will happen here. So, uh, yeah, just want to let you know that there is more to come. Even looks like is that some is that fire? Huh. So let's see what happens if we do well. We don't. If we do, we don't. Whatever. Also, the minimum to take this area over too, which does kind of suck. I figure. Uh, how about? Yeah, I don't know if we can really pierce their armor just yet. Oh well, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we can take that tile. That'd be so good, but we can't. That sucks. Question. Oh, we should play the question again. I don't know. It's been a while since I actually played them, but uh, do we need more manpower? No, we don't need more manpower. Uh, I'll start battalions for now. Yes. How about we go with? Oh, what the heck is that? Abizhaya. Something a little different. I like it. I like it a lot. And what do we have here? Anything? No. Anything here? Maybe. Yeah. Followers stabs themselves. So be it. And of course, we have coordinated assault as well. Yeah, taking out power armor without enough uh, anti uh, tank is not a great idea. But whatever. We're almost there, and boom. There you go. Uh, do we have any planes? Yes. Well, of course we do. Two more divisions go bye-bye? Yes. A uh, bye-bye? Yes, yes, yes. Anything else here? Nothing we really, that we can really do. They have up to 24 divisions, which is alright with us. Because we gotta keep killing them off anyways. If we go there and circle them all, that'd be awesome. Kinda doubt you can, though. Yeah, history. Oh, history repeats itself. There you go. Nice. Please don't let them encircle us. Please, for the love of God, do not let them encircle us. And we're going in. Are we the last ones fighting them? No, but I hope this tribe is still here, which is good. And we are headed in, hopefully. Or does it go right there? To right there, to right there. Yeah, we'll find a way around them. Or we'll find a way around them or in them. Man, using just pure infantry almost really sucks. How much manpower do they have left? They don't have a l uh, they must be mobilizing more. Altair, volunteer, later conscripts. For your mobilization, try plane attackers would be nice. Um what else? Over there. I gotta do that one too. Got Chico, take over. You guys keep going on in. And circle and kill them off. Seriously, come on. 
We could have destroyed that power armor division. Oh, and it did de get destroyed. Nice. Good, good. As it should. As it should. Yakima, please. Yes, sir. This Yakima is dead. New Victoria is technically here, but not really. Goal is encirclements. Nice. Encircle and destroy if you can. Should use the horses a little more effectively, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey! Another encirclement. Nice. White Sprawl. And we're more and more out of equipment. Especially infantry equipment. It really does suck. Okay, they're just gonna let us come walk on in. Nice. Where's the capital now? Oh, Rama's out. Oh, God. It's all up there. Uh, sure, guys. You really want to move through our territory? Whatever. Nahel, you still get a job. Still got a job to do. Let's go with that guy, and then we'll go with that guy, too. Because he can. Ah, yes. Hey, we won! Who would have thought? And... Totally taking everything fairly and squarely, but I think that's pretty much going to be it for us for this campaign. Not very long, but that's okay. I just want to see what this update was like. But, hey, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Cold Shock rest of your day.